this evening. It's a, for me, it's a very special uh, privilege to, to honor an individual that I've admired uh, for a number of years. I have served with him for a number of years on the city council. And sometimes we went back and forth on issues, but John was always, there was never any doubt as to where John stood. He always stood on the side of the residents of the city of Darien. And, uh, uh, you know, we talked earlier about how great our service is. Our public works has had one heck of a winter, as all of us have, and they've done such a wonderful job. And, and you know, we're going to be proceeding on our, our uh, finally proceeding this year on our development of our business district downtown. And John was an important part of that, that event, uh, that pr process. So this is very special for me to, to be here to honor John. I'd like to read the resolution that the city of Darien uh, passed in his honor, recognizing John Podorowski as our 2014 Citizen of the Year. And uh, hold on to your seats because there's a lot to be said about this man. Whereas John and Sharon Podorowski have been married for 51 years, and whereas John and Sharon Podorowski moved to Darien in January of 1968, and whereas John and Sharon have three children, Elizabeth, John, and James, and whereas John and Sharon have three grandchildren, Christopher, a.k.a. Chris, uh, Charles IV, a.k.a. CJ, and Brooke, and whereas John Podorowski Jr. was instrumental in the Darien, December 13, 1969 incorporation of the city of Darien, and could be considered one of Darien's founding fathers. And whereas John Podorowski started Cub Scout Pack 236 at Lace School in 1972 and was leader for over three years with 50 young boys under his guidance. And whereas John Podorowski served as a group leader for the Girl Scouts. And whereas over a 10 year period, John served as president, vice president, treasurer, and facilities director of the Darien Youth Club. And whereas John Podorowski coached baseball for 12 years and basketball for three years. And whereas knowing the importance of education, John Podorowski explored the consolidation of District 61 and 63 into one district, which we all keep hoping that will happen one of these days. But uh, whereas John Podorowski was instrumental in structuring the formation of the District 61 Educational Foundation, and whereas John Podorowski was a member of the Bre Breakfast Kiwanis Club for three years, serving as president for one year. And whereas John served with the Auxiliary Police from 1995 to 1997. And whereas John uh, was a member of the sitting City Zoning Committee from 1997 to 2003. And whereas John was a committee member of the Save the Barn and was, was and with and whereas with the pending construction of 75th Street, John Podorowski assisted the Brookhaven Merchants Association in a meeting with DuPage County Highway officials and helped to orchestrate and negotiate additional uh, entrance, ac entrance accesses off Cass Avenue into the shopping center for a, as part of the development. And whereas John Podorowski has touched most everyone in Darien through his generosity and service and commitment, and whereas John became a member of the Darien Historical Society in 1997, served as director for many years, and is presently the president. And whereas John and his family have been diligent as collectors for the Darien Historical Society's annual fundraiser, and whereas John alone focused on gathering information and materials from the Darien Youth Club to include in the archives of the Darien Historical Society, and whereas John, president of the Darien Historical Society, John conducts meetings with tolerance and professionalism. Um, and whereas in 2002, Mayor Carmen Soldado appointed John to the position of Ward 3 Alderman, a position he has held, honor held honorably until his retirement in May of 2013. And whereas as an Alderman, John went above and beyond in service to his Ward 3 constituents by tirelessly seeking reliable electric service, addressing speeding issues in the neighborhoods, and initiating the subsidized taxi service for our Darien senior citizens. And whereas through the insistence of John, the city conducted a special census after the 2000 census, which brought the city increased revenues due to Darien residents that were missed in the original count. And whereas chairman and administrative finance committee, John Podorowski questioned every dollar to be sure there was no waste. and that all dollars were spent serving Darien residents. And whereas John has always been able to identify the central issues of any challenge and be reliable in completion of tackled tasks. <laughs> J 
During his tenure on the city council, one of John Podorowski Jr.'s greatest wishes was to be able to reduce the city tax to its residents. And the city was able to accomplish that both in 2012 and 13. Whereas a nominator st uh, stated, a shining star, no, John is a galaxy. And whereas, and whereas John Podorowski, And whereas John Podorowski will be forever shining brightly throughout the city of Darien, now therefore it be resolved by the city council of the city of Darien that John Podorowski be hereby des designated as our 2014 Citizen of the Year for the city of Darien in recognition of his many years of dedicated service to the city and its residents. And of course, it was a unanimous vote by the city council. John, can I ask you to come up? I'd like to present you with this resolution. <laughs> you made it. You made it. Okay, let's let's get let's get you on. Turn around so the so the cameras can see you here for this your resolution. And I'll give you a couple more things, okay? And this time you get you get to keep this. Uh, we presented him with the uh, the plaque honoring John at our city council meeting when he was uh, voted in as our, our, as our citizen of the year. But then we took it away from him uh, for this evening. So John, let me present this officially to you. And we have a folder of many, many uh, letters and comments yeah. we received from, uh, from people. And I got tons of emails and phone calls. Well, that, that, is, that is well, you have, you have served well and you have deserved it all. Now I'm going to let you sit down again because I have a couple presenters to make presentations to you and uh, th I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll bring it over to you. So why don't you take a seat again and I would like to... I would like to ask John Curran, our District 3 County Board Member, to come forward. He may not read the whole resolution because I have a feeling it might sound exactly like the one I just read. But uh, uh, John, let me pass this to you. Thank you, Mayor. John. It's an honor to be, I worked with you on the 75th Street Project. It's an honor to be here uh, representing uh, Chairman Dan Cronin and, and the DuPage County Board tonight. Um, I won't go through the whole resolution as uh, the mayor uh, politely suggested um, as some of us duplicate, but uh, John, uh, a resolution of commendation to John F. Podorowski Jr., 2014 Darien Citizen of the Year. Whereas DuPage County recognizes John Podorowski, Jr., who has generously devoted himself to serving his community and humbly leading Darien in a variety of organizations. And whereas John's commitment to Darien has made a powerful impact on the city and DuPage County, earning him the honor of 2014 Darien Citizen of the Year, now therefore be it resolved that I, Daniel J. Cronin, Chairman of the DuPage County Board and members of the County Board, to hereby commend John Podorowski, Jr. for humbly serving his community, thus prompting the distinction of the 2014 Darien Citizen of the Year. Congratulations, John. John uh, came to us this evening, and I, I really appreciate him making the effort. He is uh, the father of a fourth girl to, uh, this week, and uh, he's running home to help his wife take care of those, those four little, little individuals. Now I'd like to introduce, and this is really a special, I'm so glad the, the uh, Boy Scouts decided to do this and to honor John, but I'd like to introduce Scout Troop Leader Dean Jones and Eagle Scouts from Boy Scout Troop 97. And these individuals, and I know some of them pretty well, uh, Andrew Hawken, Joe Zabinski, and Warren Dawes, who will present John with a United States flag that was flown over the U.S. Capitol on February 4th, 2014, in John's recognition as our Darien Citizen of the Year. Would you come forward, please? Oh, 
How you doing? Long time no see. I didn't know they were going to make me say anything. Well, I don't even know who you are, but I've heard a lot of things about you. So <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. But on behalf of Boy Scout Troop 97, these are three of our Eagle Scouts, which we have somewhere around 80 of them. And uh, our troop is based here in Darien. We are sponsored by the Darien Veteran Foreign Wars, post 2838. And I see Mr. Nick Darien back here in the back. But good to see you. And a former Scoutmaster, Mr. Tom Courtney, and his lovely wife. But as she mentioned, this flag was flown over our nation's capital especially for you. And there is actually a certificate that says that it was flown just for you. So you get this flag, and I'm going to let them present it to you. Uh, thank you very, very much. I really appreciate it. Trophies are nice, but this is something really I look forward to having. Thank you very much. But you get one more thing, sir. Gentlemen. Those are our future leaders someday. I'd like to mention that Troop 97 uh, that was just up here this uh, this evening is celebrating their 56 years in, of existence in February, uh, this February, this past February. Also, the troop has 76 scouts that are have reached scouting highest rank, uh, Eagle Scout. Now I'd like to introduce an, another uh, uh, honorable guest we have this evening, uh, the Honorable U.S. State, uh, U.S. Congressman Bill Foster, who will con uh, convey his congratula congratulations to uh, John. Well, th thank you so much, and, and thank all of you for inviting me to join you today, and to, to thank Mayor Weaver and the Darien Citizen of the Year Committee for organizing this celebration. Uh, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Congressman Bill Foster. I represent this area in Washington, D.C. Um, but I'm a scientist and a businessman from Naperville, and I'm proud to represent the 11th Congressional District of Illinois. And I am very pleased to be here uh, to honor Mr. Podorowski to, and to celebrate this wonderful community. The Darien Citizen of the Year Award recognizes individuals who have given back to the community and are working to make it a better place to live. I think it's a wonderful thing that you recognize that because I believe it is absolutely critical to maintaining strong communities and it's critical to maintaining a strong country. I think that every person needs to ask themselves what John asked himself, which is what portion of my life will I devote in service to my fellow man? It would, in fact, um, it was asking that question to myself that led me to serve in public office. Um, and, you know, I'm a scientist, but it turns out science is no help at all with that question. You, you have to look inside yourself, um, and often that means you see the image of your parents. Um, I was just talking with Jim Paderewski about, about parents and fathers and the importance of that. Um, it was actually after my father passed away a few years ago, I was reading through his, some of his papers. Um, like me, my father was trained as a scientist. And during World War II, he designed fire control computers for the Navy. And during his service, most of the way through the war, he started getting these reports of how many people had been killed this week by the t equipment that his team built. And he became very unhappy with the idea of his scientific skills being used in that way. So he came back from the war and thought about it for a while and decided that he wanted to spend part of his life in service to his fellow man. And so he became a civil rights lawyer. And he went on to write much of the enforcement language behind the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which is one of the greatest steps forward for human rights in the history of our country. So it was reading through his papers after he'd passed away that made me think of the fundamental question that everyone has to answer, 
which is what fraction of your life do you spend in service to your fellow man? And um, for me, the idea of not spending a significant fraction of my life in service to my fellow man did not feel right. And that's why I decided to give back to my community by running and serving in office. And it's absolutely clear, listening to that wonderful long list of John's accomplishments and, and listening to his son talk about how partial the list was, uh, that, um, that it's just it's great to have people like John who have spent so much of their life giving back to their community. Um, from his work incorporating the city at its very start to the, his work mentoring young kids in Cub Scouts, Girl Scouts, and Darien Youth Club. His work as an alderman, it's absolutely clear that John has had a deep influence on this community and one that will never be forgotten. Um, you know, if our, if our United States Congress could accomplish half as much as John has, we'd be in a heck of a lot better shape. Uh, um, so, so it is a privilege uh, to be here today to honor John for all the work that, that you have done, John, and um, to make our community a better place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now I'd like to turn it over to John Podorowski III, who, and who in turn will introduce his brother Jim to act as master of some ceremonies. John? Uh, Rick and John. You're both coming up? Yeah, we're both coming. Oh, okay. That's right, I forgot Rick, yes. And from, from this point on, it's your show, guys. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. Okay, thank you very much. Good evening. I've known the Podorowskis for 44 years. My best friends are right here, so I decided to, I definitely wanted to say something. John Podorowski has always been an inspiration to not only the community, but to me personally. I consider him my second dad. When I think of John, I think of his attributes. He's caring, honest, thoughtful, and he has integrity. He does what's right. He always gives more than 100% in whatever he does. Where, <clears throat> excuse me whether it be for the Darien Youth Club to Alderman. If there is something going on in Darien, you know somehow, in some way, John is involved. One of my favorite stories that I have to tell is um, he took me on vacation. And uh, we went to the Bahamas, and he had ordered this van over a year. So we get down there, and all of a sudden we get to the counter, and the lady behind the counter says, well, the U.S. Ambassador has your van. He says, well, that's fine. Call him up and tell him to bring my van back. <laughs> so he then, proceed, he then proceeded to tell everybody to put your luggage down and sit down. We're waiting for that van. Well, lo and behold, within an hour, we had two cars. <laughs> so I would just like to say thank you, and I would like to honor you. And I'm very happy to call you my second father. And I'd like to give, uh, let John here for the toast. Uh, everybody, I'd like to do a little toast here. Uh, let's all raise our glasses and give a nice toast to Darien Citizen of the Year, John F. Podorowski, Jr., making Darien a nice place to live for 50 years. Yay! Hey, way to go, Dad. Oh, um, I'm supposed to introduce our MC for tonight, um, Jim Podorowski, uh, my brother, of course. Um, He's the, he's the troublemaker in our family, no. <laughs> no, he's, he's a good guy, he really is. Okay. Thank you. We'll deal with that later. <laughs> I was gonna say thank you, John, but we'll just pass that up. <laughs> all right, first of all, good evening, everybody. My name is Jim Podorowski. I am the youngest son of my father, John F. Podorowski, Jr. Um, or as my father would say, the one responsible for the majority of gray hair on his head. <laughs> um, I want to take this moment on behalf of myself and my family to thank all the members of the Citizen of the Year Committee, um, especially for nominating my father for the 2014 Citizen of the Year, and also the City Council, along with Mayor Weaver, uh, for approving the committee's nomination. I will say this, though. The, uh, my father is not often caught unprepared or off guard. Um, but on that Thursday evening when the committee rang the door, um, you know, unexpectedly and, and told them the reason why, you know, 
they were here. The look of pure shock was, uh, on his face, was priceless. I mean, it really was priceless. And it's a moment I'll always remember. Um, you guys really did get him for sure. <laughs> and Bonnie, I want to take this moment to thank you uh, for, I'm sure, the 35 emails you got from my dad. Um, and probably the eight or nine that you got from me too. I want to thank you for being patient with us and, and helping us all, all the way through this. Um, it, it really is very much appreciated. You know, my dad would always say that, he had this saying, he would say, there's one way to do something right, there's a million different ways to do it wrong. Um, now, if I was in trouble, he'd use different words, but, but <laughs> you, get the, you get the gist. Uh, but that's how my father was. He, 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 and he, that's how he was with everything that he thought about. And, and to this day, he's still the same way. He's a thinker. He, he, any decision he ever had to make, whether it was alderman, DYC, uh, president of this you know, organization, et cetera, he would think, think, and rethink. And you could always kind of tell when he had something on his mind. Um, He'd send me an email at 3.15 in the morning and I'd get it the next day. <laughs> but you could always tell, Dad you know, was always a thinker. Um, he, he, it's just how he was built. He, a to Z, always involved all the letters in between. Um, and that made him, you know, in his own mind, comfortable with the ultimate decision that he had to make. Uh, I, I want to take this moment also to thank all the family um, that are here this evening. Uh, I want to thank uh, all the friends that joined us this evening. And most of all, I want to thank all of you folks for, for joining us in this celebration with our family, and, and most importantly, celebrating it with my father for this special occasion. <laughs> Last, but most certainly not least, uh, I want to take this moment also to thank all the previous Citizen of the Year recipients. Um, today my father joins a very special and dedicated group of individuals that through their selfless efforts over the years have improved our community, our city, and made Darien truly a nice place to live. And congratulations and thank you all for, for being here this evening. 46 years ago, my father and his wife Sharon and their two children moved to a little community out west. I wasn't even born yet. Uh, they purchased a three bedroom ranch on Grant Street and settled into their new community they had chosen to call home. To this day, that same three bedroom ranch and the city of Darien are still home. Uh, tonight, you've all heard a good majority of my father's achievements, volunteer work, and contributions to our community. What makes this evening so special for not only my father, but also more so our family, is that my father isn't a man who, who really doesn't crave attention. He, he isn't looking for the reward. Uh, quite honestly, he preferred to avoid the limelight, limelight rather than be in the spotlight. Um, you know, he, he's really a more private person. Uh, again, he's married to his wife, Sharon, for 51 plus years. They have three children. My sister Liz. What's that? You gotta give her credit. Oh, she... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm on. Um, they have three, three children, Liz, John, and, of course, myself, Jim. Um, also, son-in-law, Chuck, three, three grandchildren, Christopher, CJ, and Brooke. The one thing my, all, my father always did was he always made sure that our family was taken care of before any of his own personal needs were. His leadership and guidance in our family was always a top priority over anything else. And I'm sure the vast majority of here are familiar with, you know, some of my, my father's recent efforts, whether it was historical society, helping with the Kiwanis Club, Alderman for 10 years with the city of Darien. For, for myself, personally, I've always viewed what my father contributed in those much earlier years as much more remarkable. You know, collecting signatures to petition a county to allow Darien to incorporate baseball coach for myself, and for a few years there, it was myself and my brother he was coaching for. Uh, president, vice president, secretary for the DYC or Darien Youth Club, umpiring baseball games that we weren't in, volunteering at the sports court, basketball coach, 
soccer coach. That's one of the things that wasn't mentioned. My father was a soccer coach for two years. Um, back then, uh, soccer wasn't as popular. It was just starting to come around. So one year we had more kids than coaches. <laughs> my dad got a phone call because the DYC knew who they could call. And they called my dad, and my dad's like, well, I don't know anything about soccer, but, you know, sure, why not? You know, I'll be, I'll be a coach. I mean, I could have held a volleyball up. He'd have thought it was a soccer ball. <laughs> but, I, you know, he said, sure, I, you know, I'll be, uh, I'll coach. The very next day, off to the library, went, went and got a book, started reading about soccer. But that's just the kind of person my dad was. He was reliable. He's consistent. People could always count on him. And his kids, most importantly, and his wife could count on him, too. I did also forget too that you know he was Girl Scout leader too. I was Girl Scout. Yeah, I knew you were. <laughs> and and you know when the long season of baseball ended, he actually did traveling team too for us. And so you know you had another two more months of volunteer work onto that. You know the amount of hours I think was staggering. Right? Just the amount of hours. You know what makes it makes it that much more impressive in my eyes is that while while all, everything he's been done over you know those years when we were younger. His career choice was in computers, managing a data center. And back then, late 70s, early 80s, computers were, reliability was non-existent. I mean, what I have in my, in my jacket with my phone was probably half a wall on, of computers. And, and there was zero reliability. Um, his normal week would consist of 45, 50 hours a week, easily, if not more. You know, there was always a problem one day or the next. And he would be the person that would get that phone call or that beep. I can often remember hearing the phone ring or his beeper going off, uh, you know, in the middle of the night. And then all of a sudden you'd hear that car pull out of the driveway at 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and off he went to work. And you'd see him the next day, 4 or 5 o'clock at night, and off we'd go to baseball practice or basketball practice or Cub Scouts or Girl Scouts. Um, you know, he had that responsibility, not only being a single income provider, but a father, a uh, husband, and then, all his, and then all of his involvement within the community. You know, and as I look at where our community is now, and, and I look back to all those who have made so many contributions, like my father, whether it was uh, the, you know, the youth, youth sports, or Cub Scouts, or Girl Scouts, Kiwanis, it's historical society, or city government. He was instrumental in the development or improvement in our city and community as a whole. You know, that, combined with his humility, makes him the perfect selection for the 2014 Citizen of the Year. I cannot thank him enough for his sacrifices and efforts, and the city of Darien should be just as proud of him, too. So at this time, I'm gonna introduce our first guest speaker. Uh, she's a long, long time family friend. Um, she's a teacher. Um, she has always been dedicated to 110% to everything that she's ever done. And quite honestly, she's pretty much seen everything that's ever happened with our family. Um, <laughs> so at this time, I'd like to introduce Lynn Bledges, who's going to come up and say a few words. Lynn? Teacher thing, sorry. I'm honored to be here tonight to pay tribute to Jack, John, Mr. Paderowski. I know him as all those names. Um, my connection is through my best friend since fifth grade, Liz, his daughter. Uh, we met at Lace School many years ago and started hanging out at the playground. And we'd be running around while he was coaching the DYC games and all that going on. Liz and I'd be out playing, hanging out in the playground and stuff. Through many sleepovers, birthday parties, celebrations of many kind with the families, a memorable trip to Wisconsin. Liz, remember that trip, Liz? <laughs> but I was welcomed into their family, uh, you know, many years ago, and, and that's, it, like Rick had said, I feel like Mr. Paderewski has been like a second dad. Like, if I can't get a hold of my dad or my, my family, I call Jack, and he's always there, and he's ready to talk or give advice as needed, and it's just really nice to have that, um, that backing all the time. Um, I found it very excited, you know, exciting when he, you know, Liz called to tell me that he got the honor of, of Citizen of the Year, and it just really makes sense, it really adds up to me as a teacher, because all the wonderful qualities that Jack possesses, 
is every kind of quality you would expect a citizen of the year to have. And it just goes right along. I did a little poem with his name. Polite, personable, precise, uh, productive. He's perfect. Uh, <laughs> obliging, open-minded, outdoorsy. He's outstanding. Thoughtful, thorough, timeless, tenacious. Uh, educated, engaging, efficient, he's exceptional. Respectable, reasonable, reliable, and responsible. Accomplished, admirable, adventurous, and amazing. Sincere, smart, sensible, successful, super. Keen, knowledgeable, kind-hearted, established, effective, and excellent. I can't think of anyone who deserves this award more and all the hard work he's done as a, as a father, as a parent is the part that I've seen, all the real, you know, work that he did with his family. I know he, all that other great stuff was going on all the time, but that was always second to the family stuff. And it, he's just a great guy and I'm really proud to know him. And congratulations, Jack. Thank you, Lynn. Our next speaker for this evening, uh, she's been our family's backbone. Um, she's been married to my father for 51 years. And with all the, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I will say after this evening, you're gonna have to bring him down a peck or two. If you realize that. Uh, you know, she's always been there right, right beside him. You know, with all of his responsibilities, whether it was work or volunteering, she's always kept the home front going, which is no small task with three kids six years apart. I mean, honestly, six years apart, the house was a loony bin. Mom's got to keep control of it. You know, they're all young kids, they pick on each other. And she, you know, was the one that, that really handled the vast majority of that. Um, she does have this incredible ability, though, and, and it's really amazing, it's an amazing talent. Um, every once in a while, my parents still attend an event, and, and my father will see somebody, and I can, you know, and, and he knows the face, but he just can't place the name. And he'll whis whisper to my mom and go, Sharon, who's that? And, and my mom will whisper back and go, oh, that's so-and-so. You know, we met them nine months ago at this event. He and she is married to this person, and they have three kids, and, you know, they're named this, that, and the other. And my dad will have that amazing look on his face and just kind of look at her and go, oh, okay, thank you. So, so at this time, I would like to introduce our, our next speaker, my mother, Sharon Podoreski. What can I say about John, uh, being his wife of 51, going 52 years? Um, uh, he's a caring, uh, devoted, and loving uh, husband, father, and grandfather. Also a concerned, dedicated, and hardworking citizen. And he always felt that you should give back to the community that you live in. And he certainly has done that, as you can see by his track record tonight. He has always felt to be a humble person with a strong work ethic and a man of integrity that every morning could look in the mirror, look at himself and say, I didn't always do what people would think would be popular, but I did what I thought was right. And sometimes under certain conditions that can be very difficult to do, but he did it. And I say that he has done a good job. Well done, well deserved. John, love you. Thank you, Mom. Uh, before I introduce our 2014 Citizen of the Year, I thought to myself, well, you have to say a few words. The committee said, tell a story or two. And, and you know, I've got quite a few, and some of them you've already heard. There's some real beauties. Um, but, you know, I thought, 
Man, I, I just want to come up with something that my dad could relate to, so, so here it is. For the past 13 years, on any given time, at, at any given time during the day, usually like four or five times during the day, but he says three, but it, and especially during the spring, summer, or fall, if you regularly travel 75th Street between you know, Republic Bank, East almost Cass Avenue, you've probably seen my dad out walking his best buddy, Ike the dog. <laughs> um, he's, a good dog. And he's a very good dog. Uh, Ike the dog is, is the reason why I show up for Sunday dinners early because if I get there late, I'm afraid the dog's going to be in my chair. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, I thought to myself that, well, if anybody, anyone that knows my dad would recognize him and be like, oh, there's John out walking his dog again, you know. But what about those people that regularly travel down that stretch? What are they probably thinking? They're probably thinking, geez, every time I drive here, that, there's that guy, he's always walking his dog. Is that all he does? You know, how far from reality that really is now, isn't it? You know, but that in essence is my dad. He, you know, he, he's contributed so much to his community and, and due to his you know, contributions, our community and our city is a better place to, lay, to live. You know, and in his mind, he's not looking for, for pats on the back, uh, the limelight or the attention. He just prefers to be known as that guy out, just walk, on a walk with his best buddy, Ike the dog. So. Without further delay, I would like to introduce your 2014 Citizen in a Year and my father, John F. Podorowski, Jr. This contraption works. Right. Thank you all very, very much. I really appreciate it. I, I, it's hard always to know what to say after people have said everything about it. But I did write some things down because I think they're important. And the last thing, and the last thing on the agenda is me to give it a speech. That's the end, so it's not that far away. <laughs> First of all, I have to thank all of you for coming. I mean, just to, I'm I'm shocked that over a hundred and some people showed up. But what can you do? I really appreciate that. You've talked about my wife, and I can't say anything else except that there are many, many, many projects we worked. They would have never been happy if she didn't help me. Uh, the three kids, Jim, John, and Liz, I had various projects over the years, and I, I always could depend on them to do their share or do a share and a half and not take any lip from anybody because it's the wrong thing to do. If it's right, it's right, and that's the way it should be. Uh, I also want to thank especially the representative of Ward 3. Ward 3 is my home ward, and we have worked in the last 12 years very hard to keep our quality up in this ward. And I thank the ward people for being so supportive over the years. It's a pleasure to be in Ward 3. I hope my, my replacement will do it, and I hope he does. <laughs> if not, I want to leave you with some repeated many times. You hear it over and over that Darien is a, a nice place to live. Well, I'll tell you. The reason that uh, Darien is a nice place to live is because the many, many residents work every day and make it a wonderful place to be. It doesn't happen by accident. It, ha it happens by all of you and me working hard to do it. And I thank you all, and I hope you enjoy the evening and the dancing. Thank you very much. Uh, don't go too far, John. John, come on up for just a second. Let me, let me last throw you back up here. There's always the surprise in the night, just so to fill you guys in. I first met John back in 1975. That's right. And, and John and I have served on the city council together, and we served on uh, the Daring Historical Society together. And we've worked on environmental issues together, and it seems like our lives have just you know crossed back and forth. But back in 1975, John was my baseball coach. Now I'm going to tell you, I couldn't play baseball if it saved my life. 
But John taught us a couple things. Win graciously. Keep your head up when you lose, because it's going to happen. And what else? Always be a gentleman. But during John's time as a coach, my one year that I played baseball, I still have my trophy. It's the only athletic trophy that I ever won. And I keep it proudly on my shelf. And my childhood friend that played baseball for six years never got a trophy. So, Billy, I still have my trophy. But, John, thank you very much. It's an honor to have you in the club as Citizen of the Year. It's well-deserved, and we're all proud of you. Remember, we all got to work to make this community a viable entity always, year in, year out, budget after budget, whether it's fun or not fun. Amen.